Hello and welcome, my name is Parky and today we're going to be playing some more Plague Inc. Evolved. We're going to be doing something slightly differently and we're going to be looking into some of the official scenarios today instead of the main game. Mostly because I got completely stuck on the zombie thing because we don't have enough of the genes that you can attach at the start which will help. But whatever, we're just going to go with this. The world is a dark and gloomy place. Boring governments worldwide have banned holidays, laughter and celebrations. Humanity has forgotten how to have fun. People dress in grey and spend all their time working. Luckily, the Nurax Worm has teamed up with Santa and is determined to infect the whole world with joy and happiness. Can Santa's little helper make a miracle happen? I'm sure it might be able to, so we're going to go for this. I think what we might use today in terms of genes is we might use the metabolic jump because it's going to give us that bonus from the red biohazard bubbles. We're also going to go for probably aerocyte. I mean, aquasite is quite useful as well, actually. Nah, 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 I don't know. Let's go for aerocyte. <laughs> you can tell I've definitely planned this out. And of course, we're going to play on normal and we're going to call it Santa's Little Worm. <laughs> Because that's not disturbing at all. <laughs> the world is dark and gloomy. Holidays, laughter and celebrations have been banned. The world is so sad and boring that even the Nurax Worm is upset. It decides to rescue humanity and make them happy again. It'll be hard to infect the world with happiness. People don't travel anymore and the governments have made being happy a crime. <laughs> this is horrific. Why would you... Well, I guess you don't have a choice if you live in a world like this. Choose where to start your Nurax miracle. So I think, if I'm not mistaken, if you haven't gathered already, this is actually a Christmas add-on that they did quite a while ago. I think we're going to go with Saudi Arabia, because we've had good, good things happen with this country in the past. Let's put it that way. So we're going to go for here. Okay, so, oh wow, okay, so all of the transport is down. No airports or anything. Santa's little worm can increase the happiness of infected people. Happy people want to infect others and are less likely to work on a cure. Okay, so they're still going to be working on the queue. I'm assuming this is completely different from all the others. Wow, yeah. Okay, so we've got snowballs, which is like laying eggs in the snow. Infectivity in cold countries. I guess this must be the hot countries one. Also got fair weather friend, which is something to do with rain. Dislike of rain, especially in huma humid countries. Emotive radar. So it locates humans who are sad, lonely, and uninfected. Ah, oh, and a cracker cocoon. Pop and spread eggs, so that's kind of like the spreading egg ability that you had before. We've also got like genetic reshuffle down here, genetic hardening, and surprise deliveries. Nurex Worm hides away in a parcel and is posted to a random country as a present. <laughs> okay, well, we've also got the little Nurex Worm, mind control power for good. Breach the blood brain barrier to access the host brain and start making them happy again. Cool. Okay then, well I suppose what we could do is maybe just go for Cracker Cocoon because I think it's probably going to be the most useful one to begin with considering all of the forms of transport are closed down. We can't spread by conventional transportation means, we might as well spread our spores across the world, as it were. So let's speed this up slightly. It's going to take us a little while to start infecting people, as you can imagine. We haven't actually played the Neurax Worm for a little while, so I'm feeling a bit rusty in general, but I have a feeling this one's going to take a completely different direction. It's not going to be anything like any of the others. So you want the Cracker Cocoon, I think. Yeah, is this one I think? Yeah, spread the eggs across a wide area. Sure, okay, that sounds good. We've also got these other ones. Where was it? Was it this Fair Trade? Fair, fair Trade <laughs> Nurex Worm. Go to the supermarket, pick up some of that. Eggs Nog. Sweet milky liquid to attract people. Infectivity increases, especially in arid countries. Okay, that's fine. So just whilst we're waiting for anything to happen, I just want to say that it's starting to get to the difficult point in the main campaign of this game now, where unless I play a lot of it off screen and unlock all those genes, I'm going to start struggling, because you need those genes really before you can do anything particularly great. Um, I think maybe we'll go for Remotive Radar, because I think it sounds hilarious. And then maybe we can go for... where was it? I think there was one that was like... was it in here? The abilities? Where are you? Neurax Worm? Santa's little Nurax worm breaches the barrier, making them happy again. I'll tell you what, let's just do that straight away, as we can actually, uh, we can afford it already. Festive tendrils enables increased control over host brain. Okay, that seems like a good idea. I suppose we could go for that. And then, what the hell is this? Digital elf takes selfies and shares them with the world. Small chance to ten people in uninfected countries to open up their borders. Ah, wow, yeah, okay, well that's going to be a definitely good thing. So I think we'll go for that. And then, what is this other one? We've got like a sleeping on a sloth, lays about all day, we've also got indulgence, contentedness, friendship and laughter. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> I think we might go for this one, though, because if they're going to start opening all their borders and everything, that seems like a good way of going. Especially as literally there is no other way for us to spread our guy around. Santa's little worm infects hundreds. He's worming his way into your mind with happiness and laughter. Spreading the Christmas cheer. Can't believe it's actually almost Christmas time again. I know if you're watching this in the future, it'll probably not be Christmas whatsoever, but my god, this year has gone quickly. I remember when it was Christmas last year. Oh well, whatever. We'll go for the Digital Herald 2. Hopefully people will start opening their borders again. That sounds like a good idea. So we've got thousands infected in Saudi Arabia now, and we're slowly getting some more points. I think we might as well go for Digital Angel as well, because... Yeah, because I think if this is going to give us the max chance that people are going to unlock their borders again, why not go for it? Okay, so we're now going to just wait about again, I guess, until this starts infected more people. And then hopefully we can start infecting a few new countries. We've got hundred and almost 200,000 people infected in the world now. Starting to spread a bit more quickly as more people get infected. Yeah, here we go. Central Europe allows foreign travel. Thanks to social media, people in Central Europe are curious about what's going on in the other parts of the world and have forced the government to lift the ban on foreign travel. Good. Okay, so, so it's going to do it sort of like bit by bit. So Central Europe isn't helping us right now. Oh my god. Okay, maybe it is. <laughs> Having said that, it has helped us massively. <laughs> There's been a surge of, like, stuff happening. The, the centre's little worm is now like, worming his way into your butt. Okay, so let's maybe go for some different ones. We've got these. Solar perfume. What is this again? Increased smell of sun cream and sweat. Infectivity in hot countries. Well, we are in a hot country. That might help quite a bit. We could go for the cold one. Not sure if really we need to worry about the cold one, if it's just going to start infecting everyone anyway. Not sure. Not sure about it. We'll just carry on as we are. Do we need to really put more points into the hot country spreading either? I don't know. An anti-fun team in... <laughs> Wow. An anti-fun team in Saudi Arabia has found a new disease which has been named Santa's Little Worm. It appears to be making people happier and is a threat to society. Other countries are also reporting this disease. Damn it. So are they going to start doing research on this? Because I don't really want people to start researching the cure to this already. Overwhelmed with joy and happiness due to Santa's Little Worm. No cure research is happening. Oh, okay, so it's not happening. Well, that seems fine. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go for so Solar Perfume 2, just because I feel like it might be a good idea. What is this? Sunny Side Up. The smell of barbecues accelerates the hatching of Nurac... What is this? The Sunny Side Up. The smell of barbecues accelerates the hatching of Nurac's worm eggs. Increases infectivity, especially in hot countries. Okay, well, I suppose that's quite useful, especially if it's summertime in the world. I know the people of the UK love having a good barbecue when it comes to a little bit of heat. The sun is out moderately, you know, even if it's about 10 degrees we have barbecues here. Okay, I feel as though maybe we should start investing in some more stuff, because we're getting a load of points. So what do we want? We've got some weird stuff down here. Glowworms, stocking filler, and other stuff. We've also got... A oh yeah, eggs nogs. Arid countries. Let's go for that. Okay, so that's one thing done. Might as well go for sunny side up because I feel like that might be useful. Could could regret that at some point. <laughs> we'll go for both of these as well. I just want to start investing everyone. Uh, well, aside from this, I think there's not too much else that we really want to go for. We could go for a gift plane. What is this? Host charter planes and use them to deliver Nurax worms as presents to other people all over the world. That is scary business. I think maybe we'll go for Fair Weather Friend next, because if people have a wild, mild dislike of rain, even in wet and humid countries, it's going to increase the infectivity. People will snuggle up inside with their loved ones, like just under the blankets, not realising that a little worm has wormed its way out of their ear and into their partner's ear. That is terrifying stuff. I really don't like thinking about things like that. Okay, well, let's, let's do more of this. Fair Weather Friend. And where's this one? Wellington Worm? <laughs> We could go for maybe something. I feel as though maybe we should go for Snow Worm, just to get that increased infectivity in cold countries as well. We could even go for maybe Glow Worm. Let's go for Glow Worm. What is this wild side? Increased infectivity, especially in rural regions. I think the idea now is because they're doing research, we just need to get as many points as we can, infect as many places as we can as well. Oh my god, look at this. What is happening? Okay, let's get some more of these. We'll get the Wellington Worm. And I think as well we might get the Wild Side because that might be good in rural areas, which will help the spread in Europe and places like that. Because the research is going very, very quickly, which is not very helpful. So we're going to go for Wild Side, and then maybe we'll go for the Stocking Filler. If we get all of these rich and whatever countries, rich countries, that, oh, wow, look at that in Russia, that is crazy stuff. We'll go for the stocking filler and then maybe the gold digger. Gold digger might be useful, we could even go for radio worm. 
especially in urban environments. Yeah, I'll tell you what, let's just go for max infectivity. I think that's what you need to do, because then you can stop people from doing the research by just making them do other crazy stuff. So let's go for Radio Worm, and then I think maybe we'll go for Gold Digger. And we tell you what, we might as well just go for Memory Lane, because it's going to draw people together. And also, it's going to increase infectivity in the urban regions, which is going to increase everything in Europe and other countries. Especially in America. I mean, wow, look at that. It's just taken over everything instantly. Okay, so memory lane. Fine. I don't think... Well, considering we've actually maxed out the transmission tree now, we might as well start going for some of this stuff. Of course, yeah, I think we might as well. Let's let's go for things like... They're going to make people happy. Because this is the whole point of this worm. It's to make people happy. Bring the joy back into the worm. Santa's little worm. We're going to make people laugh. And we're also going to give them friendship. And also slimy mouth disease, also known as indulgence. So here we go, we've almost got the entire world, and actually we've infected every single country now, which is kind of crazy. We're only on 42% research, the last person on, person on Earth has been in infected. Dear God. Okay, well let's now go for maybe laughter. Laughter seems good. And then what's this, excitement? Excitement. And joy. Ah, joy. That's lovely. The Neurax Worm has saved the world. Humans have a bright new future ahead of them, living together in eternal happiness. Have a great holiday. Victory? Okay then, well that was fairly easy. We only got two stars, I'm not still sure if that's particularly good. Probably not, you could probably do a lot better than that, but whatever. Wow, that was that was surprisingly easy and I wasn't expecting to do that well. I was just like, let's just go for transmission. Let's forget everything else, it doesn't matter, joy can come last. There's a load of these actually, I don't know how you unlock the rest of them, maybe you just have to do both of these first. We've got the Black Death next, which of course is one of the most famous diseases in history. And also in the main game we've got the bioweapon and the nanovirus left. I just need to beat this Necroa virus. It's being a real pain. But aside from that, we've also got some speed runs and some custom scenarios that I might take a little look into. And these are the custom scenarios are the ones that people have made on the Steam Workshop, which might be interesting to look into after we've done all the official scenarios and everything else. But as always, if you enjoyed today's episode, please feel free to leave your support in the comment section below. Also leave ratings and tell your friends. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, awkward. Awkward goodbye. Awkward. Awkward.